so today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. So I know what one of the things is. So this little box here, I know, is the Stable Mate International shipment because it says Stable Mate International shipment. More exciting is this random box. I have zero clue what is in here. Um, I looked at the packing list and it just gave me a product code. Um, what else am I expecting? Well, all of my Breafest stuff should have been shipped to my mum. And we know that at least some of that stuff has been shipped to hers because we've got to fill a customs declaration in. So we know she's got some of it, so some of it's been shipped to the right address. Um, I'm waiting for my volunteer model, again that should be shipped to my mum. I'm waiting for Levi, my vintage club horse, again that should be shipped to my mum. I'm still waiting on my bilberry, but the tracking for that says that it hasn't arrived, but maybe that's what's in here. Um, it seems quite a small box if it is, but I suppose he is quite small. So uh, we're going to open up this one first. Um, just because this one's more exciting, because I don't know what's in it. Mega excitement. Doobie-doo. 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 Mm. Oh, we've got his packing materials. I'm literally so excited because I have no idea what's in this box. It's going to turn out to be like a random bit of Brea Fest swag or something they shipped to the wrong direction. But... Actually... <laughs> it actually is. It is like a random bit. I paid a £20 customs charge on this, I'd just like to point out. Um, that I'm not particularly happy about. I mean, I have to have an argument with customs about that. Because it is a Breafest Celtic Fling. Um, your new drinkware. Congratulations on your new drinkware. I either ordered this and forgot about it. I think I ordered this at the time, I think I pre-ordered this when I ordered my bilberry. Um, so I think that's what this is. I think this has arrived before my bilberry has. And I've paid a £20 customs charge on that, which is like way more than this is worth. So I think I'm going to have to have a discussion with HMRC about £20 on this. But you know, still, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, it's quite a cute little tumbler. Um, still no bilberry, still no volunteer model, still no Brea Fern stuff. Still no Levi, so, so that's a mere five orders that we're waiting for, but we've got a tumbler, so it's fine. It's quite big, actually. I, I think maybe I've got tiny hands compared to Americans because it's quite like, it's quite chonk. Okay, let's open some ponies. Ponies are far more exciting. I probably shouldn't. I really shouldn't have thrown that, I did actually just hit a model horse. I'm so bad. Look, stable mates! Throw it in the box. Boring. Who's in this box? I love your little stable mates, they're so tiny and cute. Lily, you're not allowed in the pony room, darling. You know you're not. If you knock a pony over, mummy will be angry. Okay. I'm so indelicate with my model horses. Like, there were videos where everyone is like really careful and there's just me. Whatever. Look, it's Florian! My mum's cat's called Florian, so I think this is quite cute because I've got a cat that like names him with a cute. And I'm still not over how cute the Brea stable mate boxes are just adorable. Literally, I love the boxes more than I love the horses. It says here, do not open with sharp instrument, just so you are aware that I'm ignoring some safety regulations. Here is my public safety announcement. Please do not open your Brea Fest boxes with a very sharp scalpel. It's probably blunt, actually. There you go. shining through him and it's really dark in here today it's like gloomy it's horrible like sun can we please have light no light um but it's quite cool it's quite cute final one again do not open with sharp instrument Please tell me it has the name of the box. It does not have the name of the box. Ah, Klaus! Ah, Klaus! He's German. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do accents anymore for my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so final one. So how cute are these guys? I'm way happier about these. I would just like to point out the custom charge was less on these than it was on that flipping tumbler! 20 pound custom charge for this tumbler! Uh, I'm going to have to 
give the paper. I can see what they declared about. What did they declare about? I'm angry about this now. Oh, 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 okay. That's weird. It says the customs charge is £11.14. I didn't pay £11.14. It says the value is $20, which is fair enough. You'll be pleased to know that my customs charge was £3.14 and my handling fee was £8. I definitely paid £20. Maybe I paid £20 on that one. £15 and seven pence. I paid £20. I'm going to have a word with my post office now. Angry phone call time, but I have a tumble.